So we've all just heard the Neijing tell us that the flavor of an herb leads to a predictable, repeatable, observable effect upon the qi of the body. Acrid flavored herbs affect the qi in a manner to create movement and dispersing. Sweet flavored herbs affect the qi in a manner that slows and harmonizes and builds. Bitter flavored herbs affect the qi in a manner that dries and drains. So we can begin to look with this guidance at how an herb works in the body in terms of the body's response and change directly because of the flavor of the herb. We've also talked about herb chi. In English, we say that herb chi is the nature of the herb. Some herbs excite the chi in such a way that it leads to a subjective thermal shift. The patient intakes the herb and they may feel warm, they may even feel hot, or they may feel less cold. <clears throat> when warm and hot natured herbs excite the chi, they get things moving. So they can create a subjective feeling of heat or they could lessen a cold sensation. But we have to remember that really it is the effect upon the chi that's creating this change. And the change experienced by the patient is relative to whether or not there was cold or heat in the first place. If there is cold, then an herb that excites the chi lessens cold, lessens constriction. But if there's not cold in stasis in the body, exciting the chi may lead to a more palpable feeling of being warm or hot. So as we talk about flavor and nature, we have to remember that we're talking about a subjective experience as a result of the properties of the herbs that are consumed. In Western language, we may say that these effects are from their chemical compounds. But in Chinese language, we talk about it as the flavor and the nature, the qualities of the substance that was taken in. In both cases, Western medicine paradigms or Chinese medicine paradigms, what we're really focusing on is the result or the reaction to what was consumed and how it affects the body. So warm and hot natured herbs will lessen cold or will create sensations of warmth and heat. In contrast, herbs that are cold natured will lend to slowing down or settling the chi. This may be interpreted as feeling less hot, less irritable, or it could result in a cooling sensation or even someone feeling palpably cold. If a patient doesn't have a lot of chi, then a cold-natured herb uh, takes their chi down. It becomes more settled, and they may actually not feel good from their chi not being enlivened. So the flavor and the nature of the herbs are really crucial concepts for us to discuss, uh, and this really should be where we're focusing our herbal treatment. These concepts should be the foundation of our writing of formula. So on the next slide, I wanna walk us through a few simple steps that we can use right away to begin thinking about prescription from a flavor and nature paradigm. We should be asking ourselves these questions to help us discern what flavor and nature we need in the formula. And this means first we have to focus on what do we wish to do with the herbs? What is our desired effect? So for example, do I need to excite the chi or warm the patient up in order to benefit this condition? Do I need to settle the chi or slow down movement or cool off the patient in order to benefit the condition? Do I need to be wary of overwarming this patient or do I need to be wary of overcooling or oversettling this patient? These really simple questions will help us be clear on how we wish to affect our patient. How do we wish to affect the chi? So we're looking, if we focus on, do we want a thermal effect as part of our treatment focus? Is that our aim, to warm them or cool them? That's a pretty different starting point than thinking, I need to treat a headache or I need to alleviate pain. If we start with saying, do I want to warm the patient? Will this condition benefit from being warmed? Yes or no? 
I think that we also get great benefit from focusing on, do I need to be careful of overwarming this patient? Or do I need to be careful of overcooling the patient? Because some patients, we do think that we need to warm them, but they do also easily get flushed. Their yang chi is not very anchored. So we need to be careful of warming too much. On the next slide, we have some other questions to ask ourselves. This helps us focus on the desired effect of the chi of the patient based on the flavors and what the Neijing told us that flavors do. This may seem overly simplistic, but starting with, do we need to warm or cool, or not warm or not cool, the next step is to focus on how are we affecting the chi based on the Neijing's guidance that the flavors affect the chi in repeatable, reliable, predictable manners. So we ask ourselves, in order to positively affect this person's condition at this moment, is our treatment aimed at creating dispersing and movement? In order to positively affect this patient and their condition at this moment, do we need to aim our treatment to dry and drain? If we can answer how we affect the patient to chi and whether or not we need to create a subjective thermal shift, we have a really easy template for our formula. We define the nature of the herbs, we define the flavor of the herbs, and we know exactly the quality of the formula that we are looking for, for the change that we desire. And this really is a very different starting place than saying, I am treating a headache. Instead, we are asking, would this person with this headache be benefited by having warmth and flow to the head? Yes or no? Would this person who has the headache be benefited by cooling the patient and lowering and draining flow out of the head? <clears throat> Does this person need filling in and nourishing of substance in order to affect this headache? Yes or no? So these are the concepts that I really want us to focus on right beginning from the start of our course. This is how we're going to be aiming and writing formulas. And we're going to even see when we get to the Shanghan Lun portion of this course that this is how treatment methods were defined. When we're looking at the Shanghan Lun, we're looking at a warming and acrid treatment method. It happens to be a Ma Huang formula, or it happens to be a guager in, involved in this formula, but the method is the flavor and the nature, and the ingredients are simply the substances on hand, potent enough, appropriate enough to create that change. <clears throat>